Hey guys. Uh, no, I haven't posted a video in a while. Actually, I'm uploading one right now. It wasn't really much. I haven't really done a lot of a lot, so this is just a uh, update, I suppose. We tied down the fuel lines, so they're, sorry, you have to be able to see. So they're all good. Uh, got all my wiring finished here. I'm going to put more convoluted tubing over everything. All this here. Uh, we made a bracket for this to mount back under here. It'll be tucked out of the way. I'm going to shorten a bunch of these wires up. Let me zoom this out. Why is it so close? There we go. And so anyway, that's what we've been making with all that. Um, got a little update on the go-kart. Oh, here's, here's the bracket we made. That'll bolt up under there and then two bolt holes for that relay. Uh, go-kart, I was running it around doing halfway donuts in the driveway and somebody was ripping donuts out in the yard. I don't know if you can see that or not. Not really well. Anyway, we made a Lego chain guard for this. It'll sit something like that. Keep people's hands and feet out of it. And I'm going to cut this piece up and mount it here. And we'll have a flat piece that'll come across and tie into this. Anyway, sorry, it's difficult one handed. Um, let's see. The fuel was getting a little old, so I put a splash of uh, T4 in it. And man, that made a difference. Huge difference. This is the bracket I made up and welded to get the engine to stay tight up against the chain here haven't had any issues yet we ran it real good the uh, fuel line decided it wanted to oh it's right here decided it was gonna break oh. now that it doesn't have fuel on it doesn't want to there we go so that piece was right here and uh, pulled it out and pulled it apart and it uh, came apart. As you can see, it really wasn't flowing a whole lot of fuel and uh, I hadn't run it all that much. The fuel in the oil must have tore it up. So we got some new fresh stuff and it runs real good now. So anyway, that's just an update. Uh, I know I've been gone for a while. I apologize. It, We'd COVID run through the house and you know, trying to find motivation to do stuff for a couple months was real hard. But got more or less all this buttoned up now. I went underneath and bolt checked everything. We got the e-brake cable put in. Uh, as you'll see in the other video, the dash is all put back together. This is a uh, digital dash that's kind of mechanical looking. It's a pretty neat setup. Uh, we wired in a stereo, got to put speakers in, got to put the dash pad on. Uh, I got to put the plate back on this. And then honestly, it's about ready to drive. I'm going to set it down on the floor and get the wheels straight. And then I'll get this set, you know, so where it's straight and the wheels aren't turned to the left. And this goofy looking thing so anyway yeah that's it's really about it i did the uh, there's a clip in here we couldn't open the door from that little button the uh rod had come undone so i'd put that back on we'll wire in a kill switch and that way it'll shut everything down the oh we put the o2 sensor in I welded that in on the exhaust. Guess I could have made a couple videos in the meantime. That's uh, no, I didn't think it was anything really significant. It's taken me a couple weeks to do this anyway. Had a couple other projects I had to deal with and plenty dues around the house. You know what I mean? So it's been um, 
kind of slow going. My schedule changed a little bit, so I haven't had a whole ton of free time to do in much, but uh, we'll uh, give this a look, see underneath here. Let's see what it looks like with it all zoomed out. Hopefully it'll out zoom. Okay. Uh. The Speedo output signal generator, uh, that had to be wired into power. Here's the O2 sensor, it's back off of this bank here before the H-pipe. Um, we put our e-brake cables in, it works really good, put the spring on. Uh, I greased all the U-joints because I hadn't done that yet. I got air in the air shocks to get it to set up right. I tied this brake cable out of the way so it's not really rubbing on the exhaust. It's inside of this, but that's just to be safe for the rear. And then I went through and marked all these, made sure they were all tight, marked them all just so nothing backs off, or if it does, I can see it. Um, we're getting pretty close to our maiden voyage here out on the road. I've got all this convoluted tubing down here. So this side's all done. And then I got it all running up this way. If you can see it, here's your O2 connection. All my wires run up there. I had to adjust the shifter. Uh, I couldn't get it into fourth. It would just sit and grind. So I had the, uh, the shift stop top here a uh, little bolt keeps you from ripping through the gears too hard and, you know overthrowing stuff anyway I had to back that out a little bit because I couldn't quite get into fourth so we did that and like I said really it's just been small stuff we wrapped the speed or the starter with a heat sleeve I need get some aluminum zip ties and get that tied up better but it's it's velcroed right there so I need to slide that back up on there a little further but I want an aluminum zip tie this thing up kind of like that so it's up out of the way um, we painted the exhaust because that had a couple hot spots on it Got our fuel lines covered here because they run right by the header, right there. Uh, really, I think that's about it. I haven't, haven't had too much else that we've done. Like I said, I've been huh, having a hard time getting motivation to do anything, but uh, we got a couple projects coming shortly after I get this done and get the go-kart done which those should be done shortly um, and I'm kind of excited about those new projects we'll see what all comes of it um, hopefully I can get a you know with fuel prices the way they are it'd be a great time to get a muscle car out on the road right no no but that's what we're gonna do so <clears throat> We'll uh, go pick my cougar up and okay, get that up and running. And then I got that uh, Myers Manx looking buggy. And we'll get that running. I got it fired up. I was trying to sell it. The guy backed out on me. So we got it fired up, but the carb was kind of junk. So I got a carb rebuild kit for it. We'll get that all put back together and prettied up and we'll go from there but just a whole bunch of projects we'll keep doing what we're doing <laughs> 